Hey everyone, Joe Robert here. A few days ago, I uploaded a video where I reviewed a whole bunch of print-on-demand stores that were actually uh, for sale, right? And here's another one uh, on the Shopify Exchange Marketplace. This is a place where you can sell and purchase print-on-demand stores that are hosted uh, on Shopify, right? We're gonna do it again. I found another store here uh, that I wanna take a look at uh, in this video, and we'll jump into it right after this. All right, guys, welcome back. Joe Robert here, uh, coming at you again here on the channel with another print on demand video. Yada yada yada. You know the beginning, the intro. Uh, if you guys want some uh, free, some free resources, there's some links down in the description. Also, make sure to like the video, comment. You know all that stuff that YouTubers uh, typically say. But like I said today, uh, we're going to be taking a look at another store here inside of the Exchange uh, Marketplace. You guys seem to like this uh, series that I did the last time. Uh, the one we're going to look at today uh, is called. Lira Prints, right? LiraPrints.myshopify.com. It's being sold by Sanda A, uh, and they want $120 for it. So if we read, uh, why was this business started, right? It says, I, I, it was an idea I had to decorate my own apartment. I wasn't able to find something that I put up around my new place that had an edgy yet playful boss vibe that I was looking for. It was initially going to start out as Kanye West lyrics only because of the viral appeal and controversy they tend to draw and then expand to other equally, how do you say that? Poignant? Poignant? However, I'm not sure. Anyway, let me know down in the comments if I did it right. Poignant, right? Uh, and slightly over the top lyrics from other audience, from other artists, right? Says that they're selling it because they work full time and run two other businesses, which are scaling up. I simply don't have the time to dedicate to uh, Lira Prince. So first things first, um, this is something I've actually done. If you see, if you see the canvases uh, behind me, right? Uh, these are uh, print on demand products that I actually had uh, my designer make for me, right? Because I wanted to uh, keep them here in my office, right? I wanted to create something really cool. Uh, these are not things that I'm actually selling uh, because they actually would violate trademark, right? Because these are monopoly designs, right? Let me get out of the way. Right? Those are monopoly designs. I can't I can't sell that, right? And neither can liraprints.myshopify.com. Let's take a look at the store here. At the top, uh, it says Artsy Prints of I'm not going to swear on the channel. Um, BA lyrics uh, to design to add a bit of edge to your home, inspired by the one and only Kanye West, right? So basically what this store is doing is taking Kanye West song lyrics and putting them on products and selling them. You can't do that. That's illegal. That's called violating trademark. Every song that has ever been produced for the most part is 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 owned, is copywritten by the artist. Kanye West could sue this store owner for infringement, okay? Let's take a look at some of the products because that's what we're doing here, right? We're looking at these. Now, honestly, is this a cool idea for the store? Yeah, I do think so. I really do. I think you could create something really cool where you're taking song lyrics and putting them uh, on canvases. We'll go into this one right here. Uh, it says, you know what it says. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> it says Muse museum quality posters with vivid print, yada, yada, yada. This is just the default description uh, from the print on demand app. But this is a this is a major trademark violation. Every design on this store uh, violates violates trademark, right? And honestly, you know, this store, if we go back, right, this store, they're, they're asking $120 uh, for it, right? Uh, there's not much here, right? It's basically, there's no logo. There's not even a domain name. It's just liraprints.myshopify.com. All they've done to the homepage is add this generic header up at the top that they probably just found on Google Images. Uh, and they created, it looks like uh, a good handful of designs here, all of which uh, violate trademark, right? And even and even the designs here, you know, they're not that great. They're just, I mean, I guess that kind of is what the point is, right? They're supposed to kind of be like lame looking designs. And the point is that they're Kanye West lyrics. So I kind of, I kind of dig it. You know what I mean? That kind of like think even though because, you know, the designs aren't that great, they're, they're kind of intended to be uh, kind of basic and kind of like bad looking, right? Almost like really abstract art or something. But again, uh, I just wanted to make another video here uh, in, in this series, review uh, one of these stores. And I guess the message here is if you don't own it, don't make designs, right? Don't take lyrics from songs. Uh, don't take artists' names. Don't use things from movies or movie titles or movie character names or anything uh, like that in your 
print on demand store. And if you guys want more videos where I review stores from the Shopify exchange, uh, let me know down in the comments. I'll be happy to, to continue to look for uh, more stores that I can make videos on and show them here on the channel. And if that's you that you want them, let me know down in the comments.